The ninth Young Explorers Expedition brings us to Nunavut, to the coast of Baffin Island, to a little Inuit village called Clyde River. This is just the start of the adventure and the kind of activity that is coming true. Clyde River started in 1924 when a trading post was built and it's home to about a thousand people today. But here is just the start of where we meet Pangaea and boy you can see we're all excited. After the safety briefing and introducing the boat to the young explorers, we'll head out to Sam Fjord where we'll start our first expedition. We will have to teach them how to hoist the sails, where to stand on the boat to make it safe and sure for them, how to sheet the sails and how to make this trip as safe as possible all the way to Sam Fjord. This morning we started to sail and it was the first time for me and we learned to get the sails up and change the sails from one direction to the other. So we left Clyde River and after only 15 minutes somebody yelled polar bear, there's a polar bear in the water and we actually saw a wild polar bear swimming in the Arctic Ocean. It was just amazing, was this polar bear it was just beautiful. Once we leave Clyde River and after the safety briefing We'll head out the fjord to Sam Fjord where we will meet polar bears, whales and the most dangerous thing along the coast of Baffin Island is the iceberg. So we'll have to keep a tight watch out. We sell our first icebergs. They came here from the northern part of Greenland. Currently they're melting because their surface is covered with a little layer of water. iceberg off the, off the boat so we're now all standing on a floating iceberg uh, yeah it's just an amazing feeling uh, it's a bit scary because uh, I mean the iceberg is floating it's all moving and it can also turn all the way around but I think this iceberg is really safe it's all flat it's constantly moving with the current so we're actually moving on water on water but it's an awesome feeling and yeah, it's pretty big, it's beautiful. This is such a unique area to visit and I can't wait to share my experiences with the rest of the world. 